the Caribbean country of Haiti. It's the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, dogged for years by political unrest and violence. Hundreds of children's lives are lost every year to a hidden, age-old killer, syphilis. The deadly infection is transmitted sexually and then passed unknowingly from a mother to her unborn child. Half of the infected babies die and those that survive can go on to become blind, deaf and suffer brain damage. Baby Philip is being tested for the disease. He was brought to the hospital a year ago, his body covered with blisters. He got all the symptoms, the spleen was enlarged and also the liver was enlarged. His life-threatening illness was caught just in time. He was given penicillin to clear the infection, which had been passed to him during his mother's pregnancy. I was told that I have syphilis, but I never had any symptoms. Leading specialist Dr. Jean-William Papp is fully aware of the problem across the country. We believe that syphilis would account for at least one-fifth of uh, spontaneous abortions or uh, neonatal deaths here in Haiti. The major problem we have with syphilis, patients don't feel anything, they feel well. Doctors say mothers often blame the deaths on superstition in a culture where voodoo traditions still play a dominant role in many people's lives. The result is that syphilis goes undiagnosed and continues to flourish. Lack of access to testing and treatment makes matters worse. In rural Haiti, a pregnant woman may have to walk 12 hours to reach a clinic where testing is offered. But simple tests recommended by the World Health Organization could change that. Dr. Rosanna Peeling, a tropical disease researcher at TDR, led the evaluation of rapid syphilis tests to identify which ones actually worked in these remote settings where there is often no electricity or water. It would allow you to uh, have a laboratory diagnosis of syphilis in uh, 15 minutes. It's uh, very easy to use. The treatment can then be given on the spot. The Haitian government and the World Health Organization have started a nationwide campaign to train health workers how to use these. In Haiti, the potential is to save several thousand babies a year from congenital syphilis. And uh, in sub-Saharan Africa, there's a potential to save half a million babies. At just 20 to 50 cents, the new test should be affordable for developing countries. The World Health Organization now plans to take it to even more remote parts of Haiti and to other hard-to-reach corners of the developing world. Doctors hope the age-old disease can at last be defeated. <laughs>